And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for being with us here on Loaded. This should be quite the one-on-one -on -one matchup, we're told. The following is a singles match set for one fall. Coming to the ring at this time from Auckland, New Zealand. Winning tonight at 92 kilos, this is the Kiwi Bussar. Banks is a very talented young man, as you heard from New Zealand. Very interesting. Sometimes you're not quite sure what's going on with Travis, but we, we can say, man, I think conclusively, he's a talented young man. Oh yeah, Travis won me over in his match against Zack Sabre Jr. at True Destiny. I think he's won the fans over as well. a great test for Travis Banks ahead of his representation of the rest of the world bracket for the Pro Wrestling World Cup. And hopefully uh, Ricochet will also be in the Pro Wrestling World Cup. Of course, he will be representing the United States, if so. And, uh, Ricochet uh, playing a little game there because he opened his match with Will Ospreay, both of them with running pump kicks, but Travis looked ready. Some fan may have suggested that. I'm not sure. No, for real. I mean it. I mean it this time, man. <laughs> yeah. And good for Travis. Gave it right back to him. Yeah. Travis Banks will not be intimidated. That's some fun with it, right? Yeah. And again, the fan in me came out last week at True Destiny. A standing ovation by the crowd and myself for Travis and Zack Sabre Jr. And now. Oh, nice little rolling ankle trip there by Ricochet. And a back heel trip takes down that bank. Step over leg lock. Some call it step over toe hole. A little scramble. Some good wrestling and, and Banks comes out on top. Banks comes out on top. That's right. Probably see several scrambles in this. Both guys are very good counter wrestlers. And both uh, like to use the the high flying style. I I, I sense that Ricochet and, and Will Osprey are trying to one up each other. Absolutely. All throughout the match, you can fly. I can fly higher than you. Jump farther, kick harder, whatever. But uh, on the marquee, it says pro wrestling. So that's at the end of the day what you have to do. I like what Banks did there. Locked knuckle, knock, locked knuckles, pulled his opponent closer, and then went for the waist lock. Pressure applied to the wrist. Nice counter by Banks. Smart. Banks, Banks very smooth. Yeah, do you think it's a smart oh. strategy for, for Banks to focus on the head of his perhaps quicker opponent? I'd go farther south. Okay. Legs. You, you want to, if you got a guy that runs a 4 3 40, let's say, <laughs> hypothetically, why don't we cripple him? Okay. And that sounds sadistic, but you know, in, in theory, slow him down. Ding the legs. Charlie Horse, the quads. 
you know, hyper extend the, the knee, work on the ankle. It's all about the joint manipulation. Well, it'll rip a ton of pages out of Ricochet's playbook if that were to happen. Absolutely. It limits his offense. It makes it more one-dimensional. And anytime you can make any opponent in any sport one-dimensional, you're ahead of the game. Unless that one dimension, they do better than anyone else. Standing room here tonight. Glad you're with us as well. Boy, things are really looking big and good for what culture pro wrestling. Every day something else great occurs. Growing company. And a lot of people are, are looking. Well, that's a little unique. Hard to do a lot of things with a broken finger. Hard shoulder block by Ricochet. I wouldn't get too cocky if I were Ricochet, even though I know it's part of his personality. I, I, I like Travis Banks, thought he was coming up, coming out after me. And I like what Travis is doing here. He's taking full advantage of the referee's 10 count, trying to recuperate, trying to change the momentum here. At some point, Ricochet will start breathing hard. So uh, Ricochet setting the table for Travis Banks to show off his, uh, his stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Kentucky judge says, step aside. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, smart. Oh, the cheap shot, if you will. Strategic, if you want, must. But man, oh man, Travis Banks just nails Ricochet. Both feet. Now the opening for Travis Banks. Banks now has decidedly changed pace. And look at the aggression of Travis Banks. The door is open now, he's running through it, going for the cover. And a near fall created by Banks. Sudden burst of very aggressive offense. Yeah, changing gears is so important, especially when you're in there with someone that may be a step faster than you, that may be a little bit more athletically inclined than you. You're getting uppercut by Ricochet as the crowd taunts Travis Banks. Oh, nice. Kick to the knee by Jonathan Boyd's favorite wrestler, if you get that good for you. How about Bob the Chest Miller? Okay. You could throw a Johnny Ace in there too if we're allowed. Bob the Chest, <laughs> formerly Bushwhacker Butch. There you go. And to your point, Banks is now focusing the attack on the leg of Ricochet. It's is sadistically smart because very easily can if you're working on a joint the ankle or the knee it's very easy to injure those areas and those injuries don't heal quickly Not at especially all. for a guy like ricochet who so dependent on his, on his springs mm -hmm. his jump hop so and like you, you mentioned earlier even more importantly matt a good point if you're not wrestling you're not making any money it's not a you have a cushy contract you set home get fat and sassy Ooh. Some companies have tried that. It didn't work so well. <laughs> Ricochet is... The referee's really got to keep a close eye on this situation because if Ricochet gets a situation, Matt, where he, he's defenseless, you know, you don't give your, the referee doesn't have a lot of chance, a lot of options. No, obviously the referee's first responsibility is the safety of the wrestlers. Everything else falls into line after that. We're very close to the action here in this very intimate uh, venue. And it's uh, very obvious what the game plan now is of Travis Banks, a very aggressive 
very uh, no conscience attack of the left leg of Ricochet. Yeah, and I like what Banks is doing with his right leg, trapping onto the uh, was that the instep of Ricochet's foot, pulling on those ankle tendons, the Achilles tendon as well as manipulated. Now back to the knee. Next off right on the quadricep. The four-headed thigh muscle is being punished. Cover by Travis Banks. Again, a capacity crowd here in the O2 Academy. Yeah, we're on the campus of Leicester University. We indeed are. We had, Matt and I had lunch at the Student Union today. <laughs> Quite the event. I felt like I was back in class. Ooh, thud. Oh, and the block was great. The punch forearm was shot was significant by Banks. And look at Ricochet with a flurry of offense. Followed in with an exclamation point DDT. But again, Ricochet didn't go for the cover either, Matt. That could come back and haunt him before it's all said and done. Yeah, a lot of distance between the two. Ricochet has to make it up. Brock Toll. A little 619-ish type action. Springboard. Again, that's why those legs on Ricochet so important. He goes in different time zones. Uh, we've said it before, adrenaline is a wonderful thing, but there is still the slight hitch in the giddy-up of Ricochet. Ricochet trying to cover up, protect himself. Roll through. Oh, swing and a miss. But not downstairs by Banks. sequence of offense that should do it right here and oh. man that was that was a piece of art absolutely that was that those off that offensive flurry by ricochet absolutely scintillated there's very few athletes i've ever seen that can even come close to replicating that the uniqueness is all ricochet that's what makes him a one-of-a-kind star in our sport Hard shot to the abdomen. Recountered by Ricochet's uppercut. Both men still in this fight. Brainbuster, suplex, lateral press, and Banks has, I'm trying to say Banks has got Arthur the biggest win of his career. Beating Ricochet on loaded will get Banks noticed around the world. Absolutely, and the fans of what culture are noticing as well. Just listen. Well, as I say that, they die down, but they were saying, let's go Travis. Nice knee strike. Inside cradle. Banks tries another strike. It was avoided. Northern Light suplex, rollover. Oh, look at this. A lot of strength there by Ricochet. Banks counters, nicely done. Straight kick to the sternum. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Covered by Banks. Ooh. Banks was about a half a second slow yeah. getting to the cover mat. Yeah. And, the, and, and Ricochet was about a half a second early kicking out. And that we all made, do, the, do the math, right? Made all the difference, yes. Now looking at Travis, he reminds me of a young Doug Williams in the face. He seems conflicted at times. Like oh. he gets disconnected mentally and goes somewhere else for a while. Aren't we all? <laughs> Springboard. Oh. 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 Wow. There's the impact. The low drop kick could be a match killer 
from Banks. Well, the fans appreciate it. They appreciate good, solid competition, and that's what you get each and every time what Culture Pro Wrestling comes to town. Yeah, you got to see what culture in person, folks. That's the, and we'd love you to be on the YouTube channel, watch here on television. But boy, being in arenas, to me, where the money is. It's a sea of people here at the O2 Academy. As Monsoon would say, the SRO signs went out early. I think I was 30 years old before I figured out what SRO meant. <laughs> Standing room only. Look at both of these fighters. Really just feeling the effects of the battle. And they're still in there. A little harder each time, these shots. <laughs> Changing them up a little. From the chops to the uppercuts. And to the kick, I like that. Yep, right back to the knee. And let me tell you something, man. This Travis Banks has got a mean streak. Oh, it's wow. just it's there. That was beauty. Beautiful move there. Good counter. Could it be enough here now this time? Banks has got to stay focused. This is where I say sometimes he checks out. He leaves for a while. Because right now he should be right back on the attack. That's a great point. He banks his head higher than his opponent. Showing dominance here. Not so fast as Ricochet. Wow. That could be the knockout blow, the one that ends it. Ricochet going to the top. What's up, Matt? Yep. This is where he is most comfortable, but let's not forget the knee. Oh! Ricochet lands on his feet, as you saw. Oh, look at this. Catching Travis Banks, and the Banks trying to kick out of it. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. What a... No, the Benadrilizer, not enough. And look at Ricochet's expression. I thought Ricochet got enough to get the three count. Obviously, I was wrong, but at the end of the day, we have to credit the toughness of Travis Banks to be able to kick out that predicament. Free mm. shot, hands are down. Look, look at Banks' hands. Look at his hands, folks. The referee's got to pay attention to this because you don't want a guy to get helpless. At the Ladies hands and of gentlemen, Ricochet. here is your winner, King Ricochet! But we saw a hell of a match. Ricochet favored coming in. I think Travis Banks gave Ricochet more than a lot of folks thought that he would. Absolutely, and, and again, I, I'm becoming a fan of Travis Banks, and, and to your point, sure Ricochet was the favorite, but I'm sure the line in the next Travis Banks match is going to be even because Travis is showing and proving himself to be a quality in-ring competitor. We saw Banks have a great outing at True Destiny. He comes here, has another great outing, even better. So Travis Banks has got a great upside if he can seemingly I stress seemingly find himself. Yeah, and you made some great points after each high impact maneuver there was that, that second of pause. That may be the only difference between Banks being on the winning end or the losing end. And look at this. Look at that. Well, Ricochet doing the right thing, shaking hands. It's a great effort. Outstanding match. Banks took the hand, but what did it mean?